to two artists of reddit, what is the worst reaction you've gotten from a client? This is not my story, but it's relevant. A guy I know, was working at a California tattoo shop, and this guy came, in wanting several lines of text on his forearm, that day's date, the time of his arrival, and the name and address of the tattoo shop, that they were in. Tattooer tried to talk the guy out of it, since the prospective client had no other tattoos, and why get this as a tattoo? The guy says, that he knows it's weird, but he expects time travel, to have been perfected within his lifetime, and he wants his future self to have specific directions for where, and when to find himself, he figured that this is his best bet of striking it rich, and avoiding regret forever. Another tattooer steps up, and takes the client, mostly holding back his laughter, tattoo took about an hour. Guy spends the whole time staring the door down, waiting for his own familiar but older face to greet him. Finishes and pays, starts to look shaken. Takes a seat in the lobby, begins to look quite nervous and sad. By this point all the employees have heard the story and are fucking with him. Maybe your arm will be amputated. What if you forget how to read? Eventually, very nearly in tears, the guy left, bearing the permanent mark of a failed experiment. TL, Dr. Man tattoos time travel coordinates to meet self, forgets to travel through time. I was 15 doing work experience in a tattoo studio in Ireland. My boss at the time, was a French dude. My boss tattooed an outline of the shape of Ireland on some middle aged dude's arm. Once it's done the client thanks him and leaves. It must have been a day or two later the guy comes back fucking furious and claims he tattooed the map backwards. Everyone in the shop. Starts giving him funny looks as we explain that it's perfectly fine, but he starts shrieking, storms over to the mirror, and is like no look. It's fucking backwards. We try explaining to him it's only backwards because of the reflection in the mirror. The dude doesn't understand and starts calling me an idiot and my boss a fucking stupid frog. We figure there is no point arguing with the dude and we tell him to get the fuck out. He does but claims he'll be back with a lawyer. We never heard from him again. To sum up, people still don't know how mirrors work. I had went in to get tattooed with no appointment, so I had expected to wait a bit. It turned out that there was a client who had cancelled many times before for an appointment to do a large back piece of Malcal Mex who was about an hour late for his last chance to be tattooed. As they expected him to be a no-show as usual they let me go ahead and take his spot. Not even 5 minutes after having the stencil put on. Not even starting the tattooing yet, in walks the biggest black man I have ever seen, in fucking tears. He's begging them to do his Malcal Mex tattoo. He lifts up shirt and turns around to reveal, I shit you not, a tattoo of two dogs fucking with doggy style in old English lettering above it. The entirety of this very large man's back was a portrait of two horribly deformed canines having sex. I gladly let him go ahead and get his cover up done. Shit, where do I begin? First off, I'm a body piercer, but I've been in the industry for quite some time now. Once we had a girl throw up everywhere about 5 minutes before finishing her tattoo. Myself and another artist cleaned everything up. She never bothered once to help clean and didn't even tip the artist. I used to have a client that would cry, sobbing like someone just died before even starting a piercing. At first it threw me off, but she said that was a normal reaction for her. She had received about 5 or 6 piercings over my time with this studio, and cried every time like this. I had another girl pass out once, right after getting her tongue pierced. As soon as she stood up all the color left her face. I sat her back onto the chair and she started having convulsions. Her mom was in the room, and started screaming and holding her, like she got shot. I'll admit, it was pretty scary. It was my first reaction like this. Once she did wake up. She told me that this happened with every piercing she's gotten. Thanks for the heads up. Equals slash. I was piercing a VCH, vertical clitoral hood, and as I was putting the bead on the jewelry, she farted. Just a little toot, and I jumped a little bit. I never had that happen, and tried to keep my cool, and not giggle, but I couldn't help but laugh once her, and her friend started laughing hysterically. I finished up, and as I was wiping her down. She let one more rip. She couldn't get out of the studio fast enough. Lol. She never came back. 
I've been tattooing for 3 plus years now, and the one that really sticks out at me was a small blonde girl who was lovely and chatty, but as soon as we got a few minutes into lining, she went quiet, completely white and proceeded to faint. I work in my own private, licensed studio alone, so I had to just hold her up in the chair till she woke up. Anyway she was fine after that, and we managed to finish it, she praised how well I dealt with her, and I had a few of her friends come in after that. Fast forward a year later she comes back for a larger tattoo on her back, now this time she didn't faint, but she proceeded to sing at the top of her voice for the entire 40 minutes she was under the needle. Not that I'd really mind apart from the fact she was singing 10 little ducks went swimming one day, in our, the nursery rhyme. I worked and she slowly sang her way down to two little ducks and then one, and I hoped she'd just stop. Nope, she started again from the start of the song. Her two full repeats of it before we finished. Never been so happy to complete it her two. TL, Dr. Customer Cure's fainting by singing nursery rhymes opera style. Every time I go get work done I ask the artist for horror stories. One artist I went to told me how this chick wanted a design, cat or something, on her lower back. After a little, while she passes the hell out, and starts falling off the chair, he catches her, until he realizes she's pissing all over herself, and proceeds to drop her in the puddle. She wakes up soaked in pee, and proceeds to pay him for the work done with piss soaked money from her pocket and runs out. He didn't hear from her again for years. Until recently she came into contact with him on FB asking him to continue the piece. I think he's afraid to respond. Had a very methed out seeming lady who came for a walk in with a morbidly obese friend and her 5 year son. My station is pretty small but all three of them had to be in there while I tattooed her. She was obviously getting sexual pleasure from it and was not holding back at all despite her son being in the room. Orgasmic wailing and cries of don't stop. Plus her kid was getting into my shit the whole time. Really creepy and unpleasant experience. When I first got my foot tattooed, my foot was placed in between the female artist's boobs. She went over a bone, and like a knee-jerk reaction I kicked her right in the chin. Being only an apprentice at the time I'm very sure that was the worst she'd had so far. I used to date a girl who worked in a tattoo shop. A woman came in one day, and wanted the emblem, if the Waffen SS on her neck. They told her they didn't do that kind of work there, and the woman acted confused, and said she didn't understand. She said that she had found the symbol somewhere, and thought they were just cute little lightning bolts. Even when they explained, that it was an artsy thing she still threw a fit, and wanted the tattoo. They kicked her out, and she threatened to come back with her boyfriend, but they just motioned to the shotgun on the wall, and she never came back. My reaction was pretty bad, went and got my dog's name on my wrist, I had her, since I was 4, she passed away, when I was 20. Her name was Boo. He convinced me to get a little B instead of Big B. Standing in the mirror, after he did the outline he asked me what I thought. I said, my tattoo in the mirror says Poo. He was mortified, but I laughed about it and still do. A friend and I wanted to get matching tattoos, because we share a birthday. I have a few, but it was his first, so I went first. Did mine like a champ, in and out in under 30 minutes, as he watched the whole time. Finally it was his turn. He was feeling and looking very nervous, but he assured everyone that he was ready for what was to come. The artist sets up the station, puts on the stencil, everything is good to go. Friend sits down ready to do this. Artist starts his first line and my friend has an immediate reaction. All the blood leaves his face and he go ghost white. Artist stops and we both look at him. I ask if he's cool. At this point he's aboard the faint train and is looking not so good. He mumbles something about being sick, so I immediately grab him, and get him to the bathroom. He gets in the room, and says to leave him there, I assume to puke, or just chill out, or drink some water or who knows. I leave him, and wait eagerly outside the door. About 3 minutes later I hear the toilet flush, and he emerges looking like a champ. I asked him what happened, and he said he took a giant shit, and was feeling like a million bucks now. I asked him. If he wanted to keep going to which he replied no doubt. Sat in the chair, and pounded out the rest of the ink like a B.O. dollar sign dollar sign. T.L. Doctor if it's you first time in the chair expect, and adrenaline rush, and evacuate your bowels beforehand. 
I work in a strip club with a woman who has a tattoo above her V that reads if you're close enough to read it, you're close enough to eat it in a super small font. Apparently her friend said she would buy her a tattoo if as long as she could pick it out. I must say it is funny to see customers faces when they read it at the stage. I can kinda throw some of the best I've heard coming from a family of tattoo artists. Friend from a studio my uncle works at had a client come in and wanted a small piece done above her lady bits. Was all fine and cool, was gonna be about an hour, no big deal. She proceeds to let them panties drop to reveal what looked like a jungle that hadn't been tamed in months. So, he proceeds to trim then shave her mane, doesn't say anything about it, begin the tattoo. He finishes the major outlining and begins to shade slash color. As he starts, he suddenly starts violently shaking, and to his surprise, she came on the table he was working on her on. This happened twice in the shading process. She left him a pretty nice tip though. TL. Drive. Lady wanted near vag tattered. She had one hell of mane growing down there. Then she came on the polar table. Twice. Left him a pretty generous tip. My tattoo artist told me a few horror stories. But this is the best. A fat woman came in. And asked him. If he could tattoo a design she had drawn. Apparently it was terrible. But he said he would do it. She wanted it on her back, so he asked her to take off her top. She took off her top and he could see there were no other tattoos, so he asked her, first tattoo? She then looked around at him with a frown, lifted up a few rolls of fat to uncover a few tattoos. TL. Dr. Fat Woman has fat rolls hiding her tattoos. I'm an apprentice at a tattoo shop and the worst reaction I have had was myself. My friend was tattooing me, and I was battling a cold. My arm swelled roughly an inch after contact and all the ink pushed out after going in. Long story short never tattoo during or right after sickness. Also it hurt like fucking hell. A guy I know who does tattoos a few towns away from me was tattooing this big burly biker in his shop. He knew the client well, and the client was already covered in a ton of tattoos from him and other artists. Now he's doing a piece on this guy's back, and he notices the guy's getting pretty pale. He asks the big guy if he is okay, and he just tells him he's fine, and that he's been tattooed 100s of times and etc. So they continue on, but this big guy's getting really odd looking and short of breath. And I guess as an artist you'll notice the difference in the client as you're working on their skin. So tattoo guy just drops everything, and he takes this guy to the hospital, because he wasn't really responding to questioning well. In the air they find out this guy was like, on his way out blocked arteries or something along those lines. Turns out the guy was having a heart attack in the chair and this little tattoo guy saved this massive biker's life. All that to say, the tattoo guy gets really good deals on Harley parts and accessories now haha. <laughs> and the big guy still goes there for his tats I heard. Not a tattoo artist, but a mate of mine was about to have his second kid and went into a tattoo parlor a couple of weeks before the due date to book an appointment to get his new daughter's name and birth date in Roman numerals to match the one he already got for his first daughter. After he booked, he went home and drew up his design, threw it in a drawer and waited for big day to arrive, his daughter eventually being born 10 days overdue and then for his tattoo appointment to roll around. Anyway, the idiot took in his design and got it tattooed on his arm and walked out a happy man. But about 3 steps outside of the tattoo parlor's door, he realized he had used the design he drew up using the expected due date and not the actual birthday, which was 10 days later. He went white as a ghost, started shaking and was close to vomiting, and started rambling incoherently, probably thinking about how his wife would kill him for being so stupid, and how his mates will rip on him forever, also for being so stupid. Lucky for him, he got the date wrong by exactly 10 days, due date was the 15th, kid actually born on the 25th, and because it was in Roman numerals, he walked straight back in, and they just put an extra X in front of the already tattooed number XV, and it was all good. Lucky lucky bastard. TL. Doctor. Wrong birth date. Freaked out. Easy fix. All good.